Christine. Hi, Michelle. Hi. My, it shows up on the other screen instead of the one in front of me. <laughs> I'm going to go get my headset. Okay. Can you talk again? Oh, wait, there we go. I was there on. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome. And How was Easter? Be the first one on here. <laughs> well, Christine was first. She she's <laughs> she's sort of on. <laughs> Did you have a nice Easter? It's all right. Just all right. Never, never enough days off, you know. I know. I know. Easter is very it seems very short. It was just it was also confusing because I went to visit family in southwestern PA and I had to drive through the mountain region and it was covered in snow and I'm like, this doesn't really? feel like Easter. <laughs> oh my gosh! But they wow. had snow on. I think it was Thursday. My goodness. My goodness. So, so how long did it last? I think they only had it for like two days, maybe. Okay, that's good. Because it was beautiful. We went for a bike ride yesterday. But yeah, the last few days have been great. It was just that one random day of snow and then it just like cleared up the next day. Oh, that's good. That's good. And Christine's in, in cold weather. She probably has has to deal with it. Oh, God. Hmm. Hi, Rodrigo. Hi, Wendy. <laughs> Long time no see. <laughs> Hi, Nina. You missed it. Michelle was saying that she ran into snow. Really? Mm -hmm. Where? Uh, in the mountain regions of Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. One of my girlfriends goes to Altoona for Easter. Did she run into snow? It's a different part of PA, so I'm not quite sure. Okay. It seemed like the higher altitudes got had it sticking a lot more than some of the lower altitudes, though. Hmm. Hi, Carol. You never can tell if people are really on or not. We had a lot of folks sign up for Meetup, which is exciting. But it's still early. It's only seven twenty-four. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No jokes tonight. Uh oh. 
I think Alice is trying to sign in. I signed in under her account. I'm getting a weird message. Ah, there you are. Hey. Hi there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, look at the people. You have uh, 29 RSVPs. How exciting. Wendy, yeah, that's fabulous. Hi, Rodrigo. Hi, Hi Alice. Alice. Well, I, ha I had an exciting conversation with Wanda yesterday. Oh, wonderful. She's threatening to come back. Ah, Isn't that good. exciting? Good. About time. What, when, what did she say? She said she's feeling well enough. She's been adding one thing back and another and another. So um, perhaps next month, maybe you might want to reach out to her. Well, uh, and, and there's something else we need to do. I feel we have to have a minister's meeting. You know, we never had one last year and we're supposed to have one once a year. So I think that's critical. And yeah. well, uh, let's put it together. Okay. Yeah. That's, Why don't you I, and I talk offline and, and do that? Okay. All right. That'll be a good idea. And, and the other thing I was going to ask you today, since uh, you're, you've taken charge, you know, any number of times of the meeting. Do you want to just finish up what, because you're talking about healing yourself. Do you want to just finish up with the prayer instead of, you know, turning it back to me? Would, uh, Whichever you prefer, Alice, I, you know, I, yeah. I, you know, that's fine. I'm happy to do that. Okay. I, that, I think that would be lovely. Thank you. Uh, where are all the people? Are there, I mean, we've got about 10 people online and nobody's here except for Michelle. <laughs> well, I think they're burnt out from work still. That's why I don't always make it on Mondays. <laughs> no, Wendy, no. Are, Wendy, are they waiting to be admitted maybe? No, no they're, they're, all they're all here. They're all in. And yeah, but there's no that. pictures uh, yet. So. They're, they're in chocolate comas from all of the Easter candy. <laughs> You know what? I tried. To, I I saw a client yesterday afternoon late, and I tried to get him. Uh, we were at Whole Foods, and I tried to get him, a, you know, something for Easter, and they were completely sold out. Wow. I know. Well, I I did my best. My my daughter in law absolutely refuses to uh a, a, you know uh, have my a grandson have sugar. Um, and which is a really nice thing uh, mm -hmm. for her. And uh, so she, um, I tried to get uh, dark chocolate and I found can you hear anything? one dark Can you chocolate. hear anything? Huh? Can you hear anything? Yeah, I can hear Hi, it. Hi, okay. Louise. Can you all sit? Yeah. Oh Good my evening, gosh. Wendy. <laughs> hey, hey, Wendy. Marie. Good job. Yes, Marie. Wow. You did. <laughs> And this is Susie. Mom, Susie, Mom, Susie it's so lovely to see you. Right. Thank you for helping her. <laughs> okay, Mom, don't shout. Okay. She even gave me earphones. Oh, that's why you can't you're shout. Well. Okay. Well, yes. Let me see. Look. Oh, Wendy, you look great. I, I'm oh, going to take this off. I can't. It's easier to for me. I, I'll, be, I'll be screaming, I'm afraid, otherwise. You're uh, muted. No, no. Yeah, well, I'm muted. No, no. Wendy's muted. Okay. There Thank you. you. There Mateo, you. welcome. I haven't seen you for since your baby Susie, was thank born. You. Hi. Hey. He's, almost, he's a full grown adult now. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Give me a second. I'm just finishing up and I'll be with you guys. Okay. Good. Alice, I haven't seen you in forever. Happy well, Easter. Yeah. Happy Good. Absolutely. You know, that that's just been it. a long time. Except that I'm here every Monday. I <laughs> there's very few Mondays I miss. So hi Elizabeth. Elizabeth, nice to see you. Yeah. Nice to see you and everyone. Elizabeth's very faithful. She's she's here almost every week. I'm I'm trying with so Michelle. <laughs> so and I see her on Sunday before. <laughs> Wonderful. Happy Easter, Wendy. Happy Easter to you, beautiful. So you finally got to see Susie. I know. Yeah. Yeah. And she even set you up outside. How lovely. Yeah. Yeah. 
Are you at your, um, I mean, where are you? Are you, are you at your farm? Are you in DC? No, you... we're downtown because um, that's where Susie is. Oh and her, her daughter came home from college and brought her boyfriend. And one of my other granddaughters came with her boyfriend. Wow. So you know how you feel when you have the kids around, right? <laughs> it was wonderful. I love it. I just love yeah. it. They came, uh, they left last week, Thursday. So they left on Holy Thursday, but uh, they had come in Friday night. So I, I basically had them for a full six days. Oh, but that was nice. Which was, yeah. Perfect. Splendid. So. Oh, Penny, I'm so thrilled that you could join us. Anne-Marie, I'm going to change right, your name if you're... Okay. I'm you can do anything you. you want. But you know yeah, what? This I'm... is awfully loud. I'm going to lower the sound. I don't want to turn it off. Hi, Julie. Hi. Sorry about that. I'm in the car just coming from the park. And so you're I did, fine. I didn't want to, I don't know. I guess I wanted to be at, a, at home, but nice to, nice to meet you. You'll be there Wonderful. soon. <laughs> and, and Julie, this time you had no problem? Uh, None at all. Yeah. None at I all. Try, I tried a couple times. I literally tried for like five minutes, maybe three or four times. I just oh, couldn't no. get in. So you know what? I'll just try, but I think I'll try a few minutes early. And then I'll just call you or something because I was definitely going to be there. I was all set, but I came in right at 10 and I just could not get in. Yeah, this was it, for the it, year yesterday. Wow. But but this time at same same, you know, because I looked for uh, on the invitation, there was no password. It's just yes. the number. Yeah. And I'm sorry for the trouble. You know, the other thing was that um, this time I got an actual bar blue bar with a link. And yes. I just clicked on it and I got in. Yes. The, yes. And maybe I looked at the wrong email, but the email I got for the Sunday yeah. was yeah. just a meeting code. It wasn't, there was nothing I could tap okay. on. Wow. So maybe that's it. Maybe I either looked at the wrong email or it just didn't get, I didn't get a Zoom link that I could click on like this, like today. Interesting. Well, because, we did. We did. Yeah. Wendy yeah. had sent one and we got in that way. On, on Sunday? On the blink, well, no, with the blink, with the no, 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 no. She's talking, well, she, uh, she, she, talking about she wasn't on my email last time that, that I had for yeah. the Reiki students. And, Penny, uh, welcome. Hi, Penny. But anyway, I'm thrilled you're here. <laughs> so. Oh, so, Michelle, I love your your message. Attract what you expect. That reflect what you desire. Become what you respect and mirror what you admire nice thank you very much mm. Mm. so folks it's 7 33 people may come in uh, a few minutes late but let's go ahead because i want to respect your time uh, welcome race of healing church i uh, it's an organ for those we've got a few guests for those of you um, who don't know, this is an organization that you may see 30 different kinds of healing methodologies over the course of a year. Uh, we meet once a week on, on Monday nights at 7.30. And Alice Jones runs the, the program and is, just does a marvelous job. Thank you. So tonight, we're gonna be talking about where science and spirituality intersect. Uh, it used to be called a placebo effect, um, used to be in completely in the psycho babble world and science is catching up with us folks. What, um, so somebody, somebody's not, has sound going on in the background. So if you could, guys don't mind muting yourselves, I'd appreciate it uh, so that everybody can um, hear very well. Thank you. So, Amory, I think you you need to be muted. Um, Alice, could you take care of muting? Thank you. I, no, it's it's not it's not my machine. Yeah, I know. Somebody else. Honey. Thank you. Um, Alice, could you find that? I think it's Natalia. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. 
Uh, all right. So without further ado, my background I, is I've been doing healing for 23 years. I've studied with Wanda Lassiter Lundy and other healers over those, those years. And today I run Camp for Recovery. It's a program uh, that works with people in recovery. And I work with a lot of other healers um, to provide services for folks like that. And I also do uh, sound healing, intuitive, uh, intuitive wellness, uh, Reiki, and a number of other healing methodologies. So I'm going to share my screen with you. Can you guys all see Heal Yourself? Okay. So Alice, if you wouldn't mind if um, taking over and, and letting people uh, come in if they come, if they um, come forward. So the first, and if you don't get anything else from tonight, I want you to get this message. Anything you ask and believe with all of your being, you will receive. I'll tell you a story. Um, maybe seven years ago, I used to med I still do, but I was meditating each morning. And my guides were told me I wasn't asking big enough. And you know what? When you really believe, that things will change, they do. So, it's not moving. So Dr. Norman Vincent Peale was a, a therapist, he was a minister, and he was one of the first that came up with the, the belief system and started teaching that if you could just change your thoughts, you can change your world. And today, that belief system is now carried over into other, into our science world. And Dr. Aliyah Krom is now doing research on mindsets. She talked at the World Economic Forum in, in 2019. She's done TEDx talks. She's been talking about how if we can just change the way we think mm -hmm. and feel, we will change our health. And she's done all of these different kinds of research. She she helped uh, she know she helped in terms of exercise. Um, maid services, people were maids and were trying to lose weight. They couldn't. As soon as they changed their mindset, they began losing weight. Their blood pressure changed. So she has proven that indeed you can change your thoughts and change your life. So the question is, the brain is always learning. Neuroscience is telling us that our thoughts literally create our world. So the question is, what are you telling your body, telling your mind, telling your being? So most of us, are choking off our natural healing ability. So I don't know about you. I've got a, I've got a few wrinkles. I'm not telling my body, my skin, that I am young as well as I should, because every 39 days, our body is change, our mind, our skin is changing. We're getting a new liver. You got liver issues? Well, what are you telling your mind, your body? So tonight, if you could heal anything, 
what would that be? I was given a set of health commands through meditation that I'm going to share with you tonight. And if you, uh, we're going to go through it. If you'd like a copy of this, I'm happy to share it with any of you. If you just put your name and email into the chat box and I'll collect them before the night's out. Um, this is something if you do morning and night, you're going to feel better. You're going to look better. You're going to feel more emotionally grounded. So prayer is a form of asking and we're going to start with prayer tonight. So what I'd like you to do is I'm going to bring your guides and angels and masters in. And I would like you in the, to yourself to ask spirit what you would like to heal tonight. Highest source of light. healing beings across all the realms, Reiki masters, masters of the earth, the universal grid. And the guides and angels and masters of each and every one here tonight. prayerfully come to you with requests for health and you hear the hearts and minds of each and every individual that's here tonight. Come for the highest good, highest healing, highest purpose and highest truth. We ask Archangel Michael to hold sacred space for us. Clearing the spaces. Really grounding us deeply. So that we can take in all that is to be received tonight. Ground. Center. Clear balance, connect and align with the highest and best love in mind. Grid work straighten. Chakras get where you belong. Distributors, subtle body smooth and align. Distributors activate, align. Get where you belong. Nadis, meridians, activate. Swirls, spaces, curls, circles, and all energy flow. Align. Triangles. Activate, hatches open, spokes straighten. Breathe, people, breathe. The powerful love and light of God. Thank you. So breathing gives us the breath of life. It activates our cells and it connects us to our divine source. So I'd invite you to take deep 
belly breaths throughout this evening. And I'd encourage you to continue anytime you're not feeling 100%. Did you know that nine out of 10 people were not getting enough oxygen before COVID? What do you think's happening now? This is what activates our health. If you don't get enough oxygen to your brain, to your cells, they just can't possibly activate correctly. And it by definition is going to help cause you to feel stressed and, act and anxious. So just the simple breathing can help you feel better. Staying right here, right now. So this is a funny picture. But what I wish to share with you that if you're thinking about the past, you're gonna be in fear. You're gonna feel sad, perhaps angry, bring up shame or guilt. Or if you're looking to the future, you may feel anxious. No. But if you just mm -mm. realize no. that you are safe, right here, right now, mm -mm. you will feel so much better. So the first command, and I'd like you to go back into meditation, is brain activate fully. Allow the energy in. Continue to breathe. Neurons activate more freely. We're encouraging more communication, greater blood flow to the appropriate areas of the brain. Feeling the energy flow where maybe it hasn't been for a while. Optimizing right to left communication. Optimizing the corpus callosum. Encouraging the frontal lobe to calm. Open and be fully active. Some of you've had concussions, had some other challenges in the brain. You can invite those parts of you to heal. Allow the energy to flow. Nervous system, peacefully activate. Continue to breathe. A few of you felt anxious today. Allow that energy to come up. Breathe into the places that are feeling anxious. And we invite the nervous system to communicate peace. well-being. Feeling the energy calm us. And blow out. Blowing out the stress. The feelings that may have felt unkind. Blow out again. As new messages are going down your spine from your brain. And some of you have had blockages in your neck. Allow that energy to flow. 
You may feel little twinges in your shoulders. Move them, allow them to, to move. You might wanna move your hips, maybe even your fingers as your nervous system activates in new ways. Allowing the brain to maybe even smile a little bit. Chemistry, optimized for full health and well-being. You may feel your limbic system. <laughs> Some of you have been used to having that limbic system fire. That's our fight, flight, freeze. And we ask it to calm and soothe. Continue your deep belly breaths as we optimize the brain chemistry. Goodbye. Inviting the connections between the brain, optimizing that brain wave frequency as your chemistry gets balanced. Optimizing the chemistry in your belly. And you all of a sudden are starting to feel more normal. We're inviting the stress chemistry to lead the fascia, the organs, the nervous system and even the blood system. Clearing from your system entirely and allowing the energy to soothe and calm you. Continuing to breathe and allow. Energy centers, follow the divine master template. Here are a few of our many energy centers. You don't need to know what they are, how they operate. Your intelligent being, put it back in charge. Allow your autonomic nervous system, your autonomic natural healing to come alive. Open. Follow the master divine template. Some of you are feeling that opening in your neck, your brain. <sighs> Blow out, please. Opening to all of who you are. And feel that master divine template of connecting your mind to the divine mind. Grounding you in that energy center being to the crystals at the center of the earth. And connecting the universal grid. So your energy centers just come alive. Repairing, some of you are repairing your subtle bodies in your aura, getting some flow again. Having flow go up and down your spine. Maybe even have, feel the flow of your angel wings energy.
and getting that connection between your chakras, opening each of your chakras one by one by one by one by one. And blow out as you release what no longer serves. And blow out. Clearing the debris. As you accept your divine nature, it's always been there. Some of you have worked with me, you remember that the core is where your divine being lives. Go to your heart. Touch that special place within you. That God self of you. And allow it to expand. right here, right now. Deep belly press. And you, as you absorb and be. And we ask all systems in the body, the organs, the respiration, the cardiovascular, the skin and all of its wonder, the digestive system, endocrine system, nervous system, the urinary system and excrement. I've missed many other systems. The muscular system, the skeletal system. Allow all systems to come online and fully activate. According to the Master Divine Temple, You are light and love as human. Invite health into your body. It was born, it was created to naturally heal itself when we get out of its way. Well done, blow out. Some of you have had heart challenges, breathe into your heart. Give your heart permission to regenerate. Some of you have had digestive challenges. I don't know if you remember the slide. The cells regenerate. The digestive juices regenerate in less than a day if you allow them. It's all about our beliefs, folks. Ask, believe with all of your being and receive. Blow out. And 
cycle. Sometimes it takes a few healings as well. I'm the first one to stand up and admit I get my share of healings. But I do this too. So you've got to do your part. And if you've got hip challenges, allow the bones to shift and change. Allow the bone marrow to reproduce, the stem cells to activate. Even more. Even more. Encourage a metabolism. Activate more fully. Some of you have had sluggish metabolisms. Well, you need to get out and move a little bit. Help your metabolism move. Blow out. And that beautiful sunshine. Allow the sunshine to come in now. Some of you were inside today, I was. Allow the inside, the sunshine. Even it doesn't need to be shining outside right now for you to get the vitamin D from the universe. Allow that to come to you. Well done. DNA, maximize potential. Allowing, some of us were born with some DNA markers that needed to be switched. Allow the DNA to shift. Telomeres lengthen. Raymond Grace taught me about telomeres and inviting the telomeres to lengthen. He does this every single day. <laughs> Allow it to happen. What does that do? Rejuvenation. Fountain of youth. Inviting the fountain of youth. in and asking your DNA to follow the divine master template with all of its upgrades. Some of you are feeling a lot of heat right now. Oh yes. Allow the energy to shift. Keep breathing. Breathe in. Emotions and feelings regulate and fine tune. Blow out. You may feel some un what uncomfortable feelings arise. Give them permission. Allow them. And blow out. Even more. It's 
so this is the, now I'm moving into the, the, the commands that we just did. Recommend morning and night. I do them right before why then. In the morning, science tells us that it sets the tone for the day. And what it does is it activates the conscious mind and gets it moving in the correct direction. First, right before bed, you're reprogramming the subconscious mind. If I've, last night I was working on this presentation too late, too much blue screen right before bed is not good for me. And as soon as I did the, the command, my mind calmed down. I, I was able to really get back into my body in a more physical way. So um, some of you know that I have been challenged with anxiety. And so one of the times when I was still having trouble, uh, these commands came to me. So we're going to do each one of these separately. So the activate senses. Again, let's go into meditation. And sense, activating senses are sure. Feeling your bottom against the chair. Maybe the taste in your mouth. Feeling your skin in your hands, touching your cloth, listening to my voice, or perhaps other sounds in your house. But it's also activating the clairs. Your psychic senses. Do you have to go through every sense? Oh, no, no, no. When you say activate senses, this is a communication between you and God. And frankly, the more you can clear your mind and just allow, there you go, open even wider. Some of you have been asking, actively asking, to activate your psychic senses. But I'm telling you folks, activating your human senses is the way to get there because if you're not grounded, there's no way to go up if you're not going down and firmly planted on the ground. Good, excellent. Wow, a few of you really grounded well. Beautiful. Good job. Now allow your energy to expand. And move to the next command, which is trust fully. You feel how that confidence, that self-trust is being activated? And it connects you with your divine being too. It connects you with God. The unconscious become conscious. Got mind chatter going on? Your unconscious is a slave, must do what you say. Invite it to become conscious. Whew. Wow, somebody just had a breakthrough. Good job. Flow out. Feel your feet. I know, it's an unusual feeling. Feel you flow, breathe into your belly. 
Allow the energy to move up and down your spine. I'm right here with you. Allow the energy to flow. Good. Be completely safe. Excellent. Rejoice in each moment. What does that mean? Even if you're having a rough day, put a little Mona Lisa smile on your face. And what does that do? It tells your being that you're safe. So many of us walk around intermittently feeling unsafe in the world. Okay, some butterflies in the belly. Allow them to come up. You're in a completely safe place, and the reason they're coming up is you're ready to release this trauma. Breathe into that place within you. Allow it. If you can just stay with these feelings for 90 seconds, that's all, a minute and a half. I promise what feels like a 10 will diminish. Keep breathing. You may want to put your hand on your belly. If you know Reiki, calm yourself. Put that little Simona Lisa smile on your face. And just celebrate that this energy is coming up to be released. Good. Now the next one is a big one. Accept the power. One of my great spiritual teachers is Carol Shaw Pearson. Not very well known. She's Canadian. She said to me, wise, wise woman, that if you loved like a verb, you instantly manifest. Hmm. I haven't mastered that one yet. But I'll tell you what, it does move, move energy. Blow out. So under that subheading of accept the power, Again, go into deep meditation. There's not going to be any more on the screen for a moment. The breath of Jesus. Activate Christ consciousness. You may feel energy flow into your spine and light you. The mind of Abraham ignite us. Feel the shifts and changes in the brainstem, 
in other active areas of the mind, the brain. You may even feel it in your belly, the gut brain, and the heart brain as they all synchronize. <laughs> the kindness of Job live in us. Flow out. A few of you have been asking for this. You know, I was surprised too. Job was not a Bible character that would have instantly come to mind. But his kindness, generosity and compassion for his friends was immense. Allow it to envelope you. Fill your being. As you have kindness for yourself. Flow out. Breathe into your heart. Some of you have forgotten what real kindness is for yourself. Allow that to come forward. The joy of God beaming. How can you not just put a smile on your face with this one? Feel that joy and blow out as it takes over everything else. The peace that passes all understanding is us. the peace council fills us. Blow out. As you make room for peace. You're going to feel shifts and changes in your being. The fun and play of elfin magic expresses this. Elf, who's elfin magic? Head of the fairy kingdom. Let it come. In every part of your being. So keep thinking, you keep coming to mind. <laughs> you are so wonderfully blessed by these beings. Let that energy in, my friend. Don't worry, often magic's blessing all of us. She just got an extra dose. The wisdom and wealth of Solomon enthroned me.
Keep breathing in the wisdom. All that Solomon is. The love of Sandalfon lives through us. So that's the end of the of the commands. So to what science tells us is to make health a habit, to make anything a habit, we need to move from resistance to resonance. And we had to rewire the brain for the long term. Deepak Chopra says practice visualization for six weeks for five to 10 minutes a day. I break it up and I don't always do all of them. I do the first, um, the first set morning and night and it certainly moves me. So again, very first, the, where you're gonna get the most boost is first time as soon as you wake up because that's when sometimes our our, our unco- uh, you know the mind starts its chatter so if you can shift the gears into something of positive nature and then right before you go to sleep you're you're reprogramming the mind and reprogramming the body If you've got any questions, feel free to call me. Um, be happy to answer any personal questions or any personal situations. As I'd said, put your put your email or in your in the chat box, and I'll be happy to send you a copy of the slides. Does anybody have questions? Or uh, Comments, love to hear from you. What was your experience? As always, I loved it. (laughs) Thank you, Louise. Thank you. I was a little frazzled because I was late, but uh, uh, it really helped me to regulate and calm down. So thank you so much. You are so welcome. Glad to hear it. So, I feel unbelievably I, relaxed. <laughs> so great. Good. That's well, what I felt, uh, uh, Wendy, that the, you know, when you went into, you, you almost took us in, into that, that deep, deep, deep relaxation okay. state by just lowering mm-hmm. your voice and mm-hmm. just the manner of the presentation. And, uh, and, and yet, um, I felt alert and still relaxed, you know, mm-hmm. so it was, it was like both sensations were there and I thought that was very, very, uh, effective. Thank you. Oh, and you're very welcome. Elizabeth, uh, said in the chat that she feels peaceful and relaxed. Barb said that was great. My chills were the affirmation that much was released. Uh, Natalia, I'm still buzzing, not completely back to 3D. Great. Wonderful. That was so nice. (laughs) 
it was so nice. It would, it would, it would be nice if that were a guided meditation one could play every day. It was, um, or if you have maybe one like that that you that you um, sell or offer, it'd be really nice. Um, I can certainly do that for you. I'd be happy to do that. Yeah. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> Thank you. I shall. <laughs> Thanks, Carol. I agree. I said up above, I wish it could have continued because I wish it lasted longer what you were doing. It was so wonderful. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Great. I'm... I'm impressed with the, I felt a very deep peace. I wish I could have done it the whole time. I was coming in from the car, so I apologize. Um, but I have to say that it, it felt like it was a deep peace in my tissues, which was very nice. And I would love to, I'm in agreement. I would love to um, listen to a guided meditation of that so I can fully do that. It will be done. Thank, Thank you so you much. Mm. Oh, well, I'm glad all of you could join me. So Barb's speaker is not working on her computer. I'm glad she. I'm glad you're here, Barb. Oh, that's great. Well, is it? I'm trusting that sometime. If, I, if I'm not, I don't. I'm, I don't. I'm, I don't know on my physiology you know, how things work or why they work um, in particular um, in, in at depth. But I was just trusting that following the prompts was enough without needing to know how things work. You know, I was meditating again this today in preparation for tonight. And <laughs> Rodrigo was, was pro, was, it came in at one point, he said, oh, you're making it way too complicated. And then I meditated and spirit was like, no, 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 please don't do this. Because what, what we sometimes do as humans is we know this much of, I mean, even if you're a doctor, you only know this much of what's really going on in, in the human body. And so when we get out of the way, it was kind of like that that um, picture that I had, you know, we're choking off the, the natural healing ability of our being to regenerate itself. So just get out of the way and don't worry about, you know, I don't know all the energy centers. I don't know every system and how it works in the body. That's all right. This is between you and spirit. And certainly your body knows how to heal itself. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. What do you do to pop a positive thought into your head right at the morning before it goes into all sorts of whatever? Breathe. Breathe and say these, say these, because it pops out. Um, Basically, it's like unplugging the computer and plugging it back in or turning off the, tel the telephone and turning it back on. Yeah. I get up and meditate. Can I ask, was most of what, I know some of it was Deepak Chopra and other things that you put in there, but was a lot of it through spirit? That you all received. of those were except for the quotes that you saw from the people 100 100 percent of of it was my meditations that spirit has brought me hmm. elizabeth did you have a question i just wanted to say that um you know i work with animals and i've studied a lot with linda tellington jones and t-touch and especially in particular with horses, but you know, all animals. And she always says, change your mind, change your horse. Meaning if you start changing the perspective or the way you view your horse, you will actually change your horse. And um, the teeth touches, it's a type of body work that works at the cellular level. And so I just wanted to, you know, it's very similar to, to the quote that you had in the beginning change your thoughts, change your world. So 
I thought that was interesting. So I uh, actually that was uh, Norman Vincent Peale was was a real trailblazer. And in 1952, he wrote um, a a very, very famous book that's been translated into many languages. Um, and the name is escaping me right now. But you can look it up. And that's where, Alice, you know? Oh, I know. I think it's a power of positive thinking, right? There you go. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. And really good that, job. That book saved my life because it mm -hmm. saved my sanity. Uh, because I found that book at, at my lowest ebb where I was at financial crisis, where I had no money coming in and no way to get it. So uh, anyway, that, that book was wonderful. And I think that my own teachings were based on A Course in Miracles, but Dr. Norman Vincent Peale was a, one of my guides in, you know, in writing my book, you know, so it was a fabulous book, a fabulous person. Yeah. I, I think I've read, I, I mean, I have, I, when I was younger, I think I read maybe six or seven of his books. It was my Bible. I mean, I, I had the Bible too, but I, I have recommended him to so many people, but now that you've spoken of him again, I think I'm going to pull him out again because it's always wonderful to read. Can you feel his presence here? He's with us tonight. Wow. What a blessing. <laughs> Any other co comments, questions? Hmm. It just so feels so wonderful. Thank you, Wendy. Um, oh, you're so welcome. I don't know. I think I connected with the fairies or something. I feel really good. Thank you. You are so very welcome. Um, so somebody on iPhone. I will ask a question too. Yeah, sure. You know, I I'll, I hate to admit this, but it's just how it is. For a number of things got super duper challenging about multiple years ago and stayed that way. And so when I, I can get still and peaceful out in the world, in the sky, looking at nature, listening. But when I try to meditate, unless it's a guided meditation, I go, my thoughts just start, are just um, too aggressive. I don't, and I say this only, I say it as a statement, but also kind of as a question, like in, in case, um, uh, I guess I could just work on, focus on the breath, but it's pretty darn challenging to do a, a meditation anymore. So um, we can talk offline, Carol. Uh, your your um, root is way up inside of you and we could talk about grounding and and i'd be happy to help you okay thank you for mm -hmm. sure yeah sure so um someone on the iphone had asked a question so spirit was guiding the words about the ailments absolutely um whenever i'm uh, doing a guided meditation especially in a healing scenario um i was being guided and sensed what other people were sensing, um, why I stopped, why I said what I said when I said it was one or more of you were experiencing shifts and changes. And so I, I, you know, I listened to spirit and I'm here to serve you. Thank you. Is it your sense that if my brain injury is, um, you know, bad, balanced and healed and it's already begun is that going to take care of everything else you've got a you've got a lot going on mm -hmm. um there there you can do a lot yourself and you may need some more assistance and support we can talk offline if you'd like Wendy, are you available for um, for offline one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions? Uh, Absolutely. 
<laughs> today, tonight. <laughs> today? Um, I, know I don't do my best at this time, af after a certain time of night. Um, I'm more of a morning girl. One of, uh -huh. one of you comes to me at 6 a.m. in the morning. That's more my speed than, than, than 9 o'clock at night. <laughs> I will reach out. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <Thanks. laughs> uh -huh. I put my, my um, telephone number and email in the chat if anybody needs it. So I'm I'm just curious because I'm so um, intrigued. You can actually read, like there are a lot of a lot of us on the Zoom call. Mm -hmm. Sure. And you can. Do you pick up things from each of us individually, or just as a group, and and it's coming from somewhere, or are you do you, do you have the vision into each individual person about things that are going on? I have individual vision. And uh, oftentimes spirit leads me uh, in any time there's a group, every group is, has common themes and threads. Oh. It's a fascinating thing. And Alice, how many times have we been in this group together? Um, whether we've, I mean, Alice and I have, have been together for, I don't know, 15 or more years, both in at church every week often. And then also um, we've taken many, many classes together and groups have have themes, don't they, Alice? They, basically, each group has its own deva. And mm. God, I always sense that God puts the groups together and there's uh, a reason why you're called to come to listen to this because uh, there are so you know many different offerings that we have and different people show up but sometimes the same people show up and there and and yet every single person that comes benefits uh, whether it's a, a collective benefit or an individual benefit you know so. Mm -hmm. I, I, I find it miraculous. I really do. Yeah, like all is one. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Mm. Indeed. Mm. Any yeah. other questions? Well, if not, let's do a prayer. Okay. And I want you to, um, there's, there's a bunch of people on the phone and uh, l let's all put our, some of you are, are accustomed to this process where you put individual prayers, but we've got so many folks and it's already 838. So let's all put our prayers in at the same time um, over the next 30 seconds. And I, I will hold the space. And then, you know, you, you may want to have prayers for yourself, for your loved ones, for the planet, for whatever you want to pray for tonight. And we'll lift them up in our ask. And you can verbalize them or say them to yourself. Divine Infinite Spirit, highest source of light, the guides and angels and masters, healing, and all those who are here with us tonight. Heal the prayer, hear the prayers. Thank you for each and every person who came this evening. Bring them blessing. Fill them with your love and light and all those that they touch and all those that they touch. Be with their spirit group.
give them health, well-being, bring them their heart's desire. Have us become the love, the light, the peace, the oneness. In service. Bring our planet health. Be with those who have suffered from COVID. Open their eyes to the blessings of their life and how they may truly thrive now. Bring peace to our country. Bring unity. sense of kindness and respect again to our political process. Camaraderie, cohesiveness. Thank you, God, for all the beings who came to us tonight and your guided inspiration. Blessings and peace. Thank you. Amen. Thank you all for being here tonight. It was so much fun. Blessings to all of you. And for you. those who put your your email in the chat, then I'll send you um, the command. Thank you so much, Wendy. It was wonderful. You were Thank welcome, you. Elizabeth. It was Good lovely. Night. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Before you leave, though, I just thank want you. To, uh, thank to, you. Yeah, thank. Oh wait, Wendy. yeah. Oh, oh I, Alice. Yeah, Alice has a message. Sorry. I always have uh, just a, a short, very short announcement. Uh, just wanted to thank Wendy too because, like I said, uh, I her teacher was my teacher, and uh, so I've known her from the day she walked in the door, and I've seen the progress and the struggle and the pain and the healing. And I also uh, was one of her sponsors for when she became a minister. And I, so I'm just, I stand in awe of, of everything that you do and everything that you've become through sheer willpower and sheer effort of, of your own. And uh, healing is, something we are all capable of and so and i think you're an absolute living walking breathing example of that and i'm, I'm just mm -hmm. incredibly proud of you uh, you know for for what you do for what you bring for the the people that you guide and um the people that you continue to bring together uh, and everything so next week we will have fern wolf she comes to us from canada she is both an EFT um, practitioner and a hypnotherapist. And she has something brand new that, that she's going to coming uh, to be coming in with us. And then after that, I will uh, do a Reiki share at 6.15, because uh, the normal presentation is at 7.30. And then a regular presentation at 7.30 on Hono Pono Pono and the power of forgiveness and mm -hmm. healing through forgiveness. And then we'll have the paid speaker. And I, for the life of me, I cannot remember who our paid speaker is this month. So, uh, but anyway, uh, if, if, if anybody is willing, we graciously accept your donations and we thank you for being here and uh, hope to see you next week. And for anybody that doesn't know Fern, She's really awesome. She Definitely is. worth tuning into next week. Right. Thank you. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Wendy. Alice. Thank you, Alice. Thank you, Wendy. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
I don't Alice don't uh, don't close it because I'm still getting names okay right right oh yeah no I leave it on till the end till the last okay. one leaves. thank you yeah, I'm still okay. writing though there there are times people need to um communicate something uh, and uh so I just learned to leave it on so and Anne Marie, it was so lovely to see you. It's been a long time. And Joe, always a pleasure to to see you. Thank Joe, you. that was so fun. Did you feel the the Oh the listen, feelings? I was lying down the whole time. I was I could feel it from the very beginning. It was really a blessing. I'm sure a lot of us were too zoned out to even talk. That's what I didn't. <laughs> well, it was so funny. I mean, when when I called in Elf and Magic, all I could see was your face. <laughs> it was just <laughs> you. <laughs> the elf. <laughs> the we just called it up in what? Magic? I didn't hear you. Elf and yeah. magic. Um, oh, elf and magic. Oh, yeah, must the diva of the, of, the, of the spirit of the... Um, of the fairy world. Okay. Oh, thank you. That what an honor to be associated with that. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, they they obviously were connected to you. <laughs> love it. Just love it. Well, I'll say good night now in case you guys have anything you need to talk about with each other. Okay. But thanks again, Wendy. That was terrific. So I look forward welcome. to Sunday. Yes, indeed. I'll see you Sunday evening. Alrighty then. All right. Bye bye. Bye, sweetie. Anne Marie, I'm so glad you could join tonight, honey. You're on mute. You're on mute. Unmute yourself. Do you know how? Hit the space bar. Oh. Hold down the space bar. Uh oh. She lost. <laughs> no, she there, she's still there. Yes. She's still You're there. on mute, hon. You're still on mute. Go in the corner to the left on, on the bottom where it says mute and, and uh, click it and and the little red line will come off so we can hear. There you are. We can, we should be able to hear you. No, you, oh, you just... I think this was profound tonight. The whole experience was really so deep and so beautiful and it touched everybody. I really oh, felt wow. it as a as a group. Wendy, it was the best one of the best presentations I have ever heard. Oh, and if you have anything you, written anywhere, I would love to put that down. And I would love to see you make a tape of this and make it available to people so that they could have it again and again and again. And okay. it might be just for people who come to your class, but I think certainly it was really profound. Yeah, yeah. and, and uh, just, Anne-Marie, because this is the first time you've been on, we yes. do record these and Emily does put them on our website, on the Rays of Healing website. Oh, so, I have never been on the Rays of Healing website until tonight when I was looking to give some sort of, you know, recompense for the class, mm. and which I wasn't, I didn't, wasn't able to do, but I'll get it. I'm determined at this point. <laughs> but I definitely will be back next week. And this is really the first time I, except for attending once or twice in person that I've ever gone to any of the uh, um, church things that you have, and I'm going to become a regular. I well, thought it's beautiful. so easy. Zoom makes it easy and it does, Zoom makes yeah. it accessible to wherever you are in the country. Yeah. But tonight it was so know. profound. Yeah. It was okay. just really. Yeah. Um, what can I say? I'm really touched. Wendy, Thanks, you were the best tonight I have ever heard you. It was just so guided and so deep and so far reaching into Thank everyone's you. soul, really, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I was very Thank you both. I had no oh. idea. Alice, I had no idea. This yeah. is so easy. Uh, <laughs> now yeah. that I've experienced it, I'm getting. Thank you, Susie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Susie. Thank you, Susie was really beautiful. And Thank Susie you. is your daughter? Is that who Susie is? Susie is one of my daughters. Okay. And, uh, you know, what can I say? Someday yeah. you'll meet all. 
<laughs> well, hopefully we'll see you again. This uh, I mean, I'll be there next it, week. It can't be easier than to than than to tune no, us in no. at seven thirty. You know, but it was it was really very connecting too. Right, the whole, right. Of the whole and group. and on the third uh, Wednesday, I'm sorry, Monday, um, it starts at six fifteen because the Reiki share is first. Okay. So then the presentation starts at 7.30, but the Reiki share is first. And of course, that's... that's oh, you all do Reiki? I did study Reiki years ago, but I don't really use it. So oh. do we all work on each other? Or what is, when you say Reiki share, what do you say? I, I, I basically do a guided meditation for the people who are there. And I ask them to put themselves down first, then place their intention then place all the members of the group that have joined and then place mother earth over them. Beautiful. So I want, I, I, I ask for all four visualizations and then I just do a guided meditation, whatever comes in. Well, Wendy opened me th to this tonight by inviting me to come and thank, now I will become you, a Wendy. member of the group. So thank you, thank you. But Wendy, I really think it was very profound and beautiful and happy and it just took us out of being here you know it just took us somewhere that was beautiful yeah. thank you well sweetie you have you have the laminated copy i already gave i do it every you. morning <laughs> i do it every morning and it's really made some really deep changes in my body and in my thinking every morning that's how i start the day six o'clock i love it <laughs> uh. So I hope you all had a beautiful Easter holiday if you said we're celebrating it yeah. and that we're on to the next, right? Yeah, we're, we're basically healing the country, you know, so. I think so. I, yeah. I think so. And it's, um, and this is so much deeper, this, this, this healing that Wendy does or gives us with these commands just is our entire being. So. Yes. Wendy, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And what okay, I love about the commands is they're yeah. so easy. They're so simple. Yeah. And, and yeah. you can memorize them eventually. Yeah. You know. So yeah, us. you do. Yeah. You really do. Yeah. Thank you, but I will be part of your group from now on. Yeah. This was really exciting. No, Yay. I love I love it. So love to you all. I'm gonna say good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Great good night, job. Alice. Thank you, Wendy. All right. You're very bye -bye. welcome. Bye. Wow. Good night, well, Alice. Alice. That oh, damn oh thing leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just I you know again this um, every every time you step up to the plate you come in with something different something new mm -hmm. and uh, there's uh, the 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 word I'm getting for you uh, right now is there was a wholeness to your presentation mm -hmm. that uh, it's like your whole being was there. There was no part of you that was missing. There was no part of you that was fragmented out or holding back or, does that make sense to you? It makes perfect sense because that's something that I, you, you, you know me, yeah. <laughs> you've seen that you've seen it. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah, and wholeness, and uh, it was it, it truly was wonderful, um, Wendy. And I think the fact that you attracted twenty nine people, and at the end, even I think there was twenty six or twenty seven. So that was great, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. because sometimes they just drop off, you know, right. before, right. and uh, they they stay till the end. So that mm -hmm. that just gave me, um, um, I don't know, hope for the fact that more and more people will join because it's mm -hmm. it's a little bit disconcerting sometimes because Donna spends so much time, Sweetie, so much Sweetie, effort. We're, we're on, is she gonna be able to cut those? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll tell her too. Uh, okay. <laughs> we should 